Today on Inspector Skillet, we're making some itty bitty burgers. But with some big Texas flavor. I'm Joey Aletti. And I'm Trevor Ball. It's time to wash our hands. And cook some sliders. Can you eat a beef slider if it's pink in the middle? Yes, yeah, so that's the way I love it. No. Yes, as long as it's not raw. Not in my opinion, although my husband does. Is raw turkey safer than raw beef? I'd say no. Yes. I, don't, I wouldn't think so. Do you have any idea what temperature you should cook a slider to, a beef slider? A beef slider should be cooked uh, 180 degrees. 165 degrees, 200 to 350? 350. Uh, 200. 180, 220, something like that. How about a turkey burger? Turkey burger should take a little less. I'm gonna say 140. 140. 200 to 210. Over 200. Over 200, yes. So those answers about ground meats correct? Stay tuned and we'll find out. So today we have uh, some great assortment of sliders. We have got turkey sliders, we've got lamb sliders, and we've also got beef sliders. And now for all you slider snobs out there, we made them the right way. Not many, many hamburgers, we made sliders. And I actually, I actually did those up earlier today, Joey, and I put them in the freezer so we could save some time. You got it. All right, guys, we're gonna show you how to make actual sliders today. We're gonna take our lean ground beef, put it in the food processor, salt and pepper, a little bit of beef stock, and then we're gonna put it down into a grease sheet pan, flatten it out, score it, and pop it in the freezer. That way, when we're ready to have sliders, all we have to do is pop out the individual slider, put it on the grill, and we're ready to roll. I've got three pans going right now. Okay. Well, that's just because we don't want to do any cross-contamination, right? That's exactly right. There are different types of pathogens that can be in uh, all this raw processed meat. Uh, in the beef, you could have things such as E. coli. Uh, you could have a uh, Campylobacter, or we might even have a little Salmonella in there. So we want to make sure that we cook it through and thoroughly, right? Absolutely. You got it. And uh, since we're doing traditional sliders, we have some already cooked chopped onion and so we're going to put a little bit down in each pan the main difference between sliders and those little mini burgers is obviously trevor's already processed all the meat and you actually cook the uh, sliders on top of the bed of grilled onions while trevor's getting our sliders going in the pan i'm going to make a quick little sauce to go with the ones that we already have here or actually we already have a uh, a garlic butter sauce we have a chipotle mayo that we made earlier a pesto sauce and then we have a, a little vinaigrette. Actually, what I'm gonna do with this vinaigrette, I'm gonna put it in some uh, shredded cabbage, and make a quick little coleslaw to go on top of our, our little sliders. Give it a quick toss. I'm gonna go ahead and incorporate just a little bit of this uh, chipotle mayo in here as well. All right, Trevor, I have a great little slaw to go on top of some of our sliders. And then I'm gonna make a little combination sauce for some of this uh, chipotle mayo. And just add a little bit of ketchup to it. And this will be a great sauce for our sliders and for the uh, roasted new potato fries and sweet potato fries that we made just uh, actually in the oven right now. We want to uh, make sure that we cook the sliders, or the beef sliders, to at least 160 degrees. The lamb and the uh, turkey sliders to a minimum of 165 degrees. That way it'll kill all the salmonella and any other type of harmful uh, pathogen that could actually be in the uh, processed ground meat. I don't know if you guys can tell, but Trevor's using a different spatula for each one of the sliders. We want to make sure that he's not using the, the same spatula with the poultry that he is with the lamb and the beef. That's very, very important. 
Well, Trevor, looks like our slider's just about ready. Just about. Okay, so I'm gonna get these buns ready and we'll be right back. Here we are at our local supermarket with our favorite butcher, Stuart. Stuart, when a customer's looking for some fresh ground beef, what should they look for? Whenever you're picking out your fresh ground beef at the store, you wanna make sure you check in the color. You wanna make sure it looks good, obviously appealing, and there's a nice wetness to it almost, and that's gonna tell you the freshness of it. How should it smell? Fresh ground beef should have a real nice fresh meat smell. Should never have a pungent odor. Should never have anything that makes you jerk your head back. It's gonna have a real pleasant meat smell to it. When we're talking about ground turkey or ground chicken, is that safer than uh, ground beef? Absolutely not. You have to make sure you're cooking that all the way to a well done. You do not wanna run the risk of a possible salmonella bacteria. And what are some uh, potential problems with ground beef? Some of the potential problems are, say, an E. coli bacteria. You have to be careful that you make sure you're cooking that to a temperature of 155 for a minimum of 15 seconds. And you want those juices to run clear on that. So if I get this ground beef home and I add a bunch of lemon to it and salt and pepper and herbs, is it safe to eat some raw ground beef like that? Absolutely not. You want to make sure you're cooking that to a full time for that 155 temperature for 15 seconds. I like to do uh, sliders with some ground lamb, okay? Is That's it okay to eat that uh, rare or medium in the middle? I, I love my sliders with some ground lamb in it, but no, you want to make sure that's well done as well. You want that to be, again, juices running clear on that. Well, as you can see, it's very important to all cook all your ground beef to uh, an internal temperature of at least 155 degrees when you're talking about beef. Now chicken and poultry, you want it at least to 165 degrees for 15 seconds. Stuart, thank you once again. My Look pleasure. forward to seeing you in the future, man. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. All right, I think our sliders are almost done. What's the uh, temperature on those, Trevor? We've got just about a 160 going there. That's exactly what we want for the beef sliders. How about the, uh, the other ones? You, you already checked those? Uh, no, but I think I should put this in sanitation water. You got before it. Let I me go ahead that. and sanitize this for you real quick. Of course, we have our water here with uh, one teaspoon of bleach, our sanitizer. Here we go. Give that a shot, Trevor. I'll give it See right back our... to you. I got to get the lamb now. The goal temperature with this lamb and with the uh, turkey is 165 degrees. All right, we got that on the lamb. 165, 165 degrees? 165 on the, on the lamb. All right, quick rinse and our sanitizer. All right. The reason why we want to do this so quick is we don't want to overcook these sliders. That's right. You want to get them just right, the right temperature, 165, because if you get over that, they're going to be really dry, and we, we don't want that in our sliders. All right. These are good, too, Joey. 165 degrees? 165. All right. I think we got to plate some of these up. What do you All think? All right. Sounds good. All right. So we have our little, uh, little rolls here. We have our butter rolls. We have our little Vienna rolls. So how do you uh, want to dress mix, them up? Mix and match them. You know? All right. Let's do this. I say we do the, uh, the roasted garlic and dill aioli with the beef. Okay. We'll do the chipotle seasoned mayo okay. with the turkey. Got it. And we'll do the pesto sauce with the uh, lamb. That sounds good. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put uh, little tops on these little dudes just like that. Kind of warm up the tops. Gotcha. Then we also have an assortment of cheeses to go with our sliders. We've got a uh, horseradish cheddar. Right. That, uh, that's going to be for our beef. Okay. We've got a uh, pepper jack Monterey cheese. Okay. That's for our turkey. And then we also have a fresh feta cheese to go with our lamb. So we're going to put these together and enjoy some sliders. Man, that looks good. I'm ready for the game, Joey. Let's do it, man. Let's uh, take these in the other room and eat some sliders. All right, I got the sliders. You get the slaw. Got it. Look at these sliders. They look great. A little slaw. Hook me up with some of that. Got it. How about that? I'm not so slider. You're right, Trevor. Mm. Little burgers, huge flavor huge Texas flavor. I'm Joey Aletti. And I'm Trevor Ball. We'll see you next time on Inspector Skillet.
recipes and safety tips, visit allentv.org.